Let's get straight into some conversation here. Looking at the market's performance, as I said, we had the main share index recouping some of Thursday's losses, closing up 0.4%, and we're just under the um, 4,036 point mark at this stage of the game. Your view on the kind of activity we're seeing right now? Well, thank you, Alicia. Uh, last week was not exactly a very good week, but it was expected that December would come and, and uh, participants in the market would want to uh, get their gains. And so there was a lot of profit taking, uh, but at the same time, we also had some panic run from uh, people who are afraid of the political temperatures that are rising in the country. Uh, that said, of course, the market adjusted slightly on Friday. Uh, I don't think our fortunes will be any better this week. I think we will probably see much more profit taking uh, in the market, and, uh, but the market will remain stable, uh, of course, uh, apart from uh, going down on a few, on a few points. Mm -hmm. Of course, as we've highlighted, we've seen some investors out there still seeing the opportunity, saying that the bull run will be intact despite the nervousness uh, surrounding uh, the upcoming elections. William, where are you seeing value on the NSE right now? Well, I, I'm, I'm not sure I, I, I support that fully um, because as we are closing the year, there, there will be a lot of pressures on the market um, and that would really affect the, the bull run as, 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 you, as you mentioned. Um, I'm, I'm looking at real, real uh, performance coming as from January. Uh, the, the, the elections will have very little if impact on it, but towards the end of the year it is expected that the market would correct itself. Uh, in terms of how, how I see the market uh, right now as we are, I think it's still a good place to invest in, uh, but I, 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 I'm not, uh, I'm not I mean, ignorant of the fact that there might be corrections here and there. Corrections here and there, but where are you seeing some of the buying opportunity presenting itself? Ah, lovely. Uh, I'm looking at, uh, uh, first of all, there will be speculative pressures on KPLC because they are closing their books uh, by end of this week. Uh, so that will uh, be a counter to watch in the week. I'm also uh, thinking, or oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at KCB, um, the market will want to respond to the announcement uh, of a new CEO coming in place. Um, but in terms of real value, uh, th that might be presented by Santam and Kenjam. Uh, which are generally uh, highly undervalued and, and, and are very affordable at, the ti at this time. And, and I'm looking at the market uh, really uh, focusing on them. If you're looking at Kenjen, it was the biggest loser on Friday's uh, session. It moved 4.1 uh, million shares during the week and closed at 8 shillings 80. Why is that counter under such pressure if you're starting to see the value there and the opportunity it presents? Well, what happened on Friday was uh, a general correction after a lot of uh, interest in the, in the counter uh, due to book closure that was uh, happening a week before that. And so you would expect that, that, would, uh, that after the correction, the market will keenly look at, at, at the counter and, and the, the interest and the demand on, on Kenjan will still come through. Because generally speaking, Kenjan is, is, is still undervalued. Uh, we're looking at uh, gr real growth opportunities in the energy sector presented by Kenjan, which is actually investing heavily in geothermal power. Uh, so that, that will, will, will attract investors into the counter. It's interesting that you mentioned that you're focusing on KCB and that in light of a new CEO taking to the helm at that company, William. Overall, though, there seems to be quite a bit of uh, positivity that surrounds the banking sector over in Kenya. We've had bank profits hitting 90 billion shillings, and that's surpassing last year's earning for the 10 months through to October. Over. What's your view generally on the sector right now? Because going through some of the commentary being reiterated is that uh, the growth in the bank's profitability uh, underlines their resilience and ability to ride out harsh economic times that have been characterized by high inflation and interest rates. Well, first let me start with KCB. Uh, KCB on, on its own has had sterling performance in the year. They have probably outperformed everyone else in the market and, and they are the biggest bank in the country. Uh, but I, I don't see very broad growth opportunities in terms of uh, capital growth. Uh, but uh, all in all, it is still delivering to its uh, investors. 
Now, looking at the sector generally, uh, the banking sector in the country is indeed resilient. Uh, in, the, in the face of high interest rates, they are the ones who made the biggest gains. Uh, but part of the gains did not come from the country. Um, a, a good percentage of it came from the regional market. Um, a very, a, another percentage came from a foreign exchange uh, because they, they participated heavily in the foreign exchange and, 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 and that contributed majorly to their, to their profits. Um, all in all, the sector is still um, going to do well and, and, uh, and is attractive to any investor looking at a, a, growth, a, a growth curve. To what extent are you pricing in risk though, William? Because uh, we've had analysts also attributing the kind of profit growth we've seen in the banking sector to increased lending in the second half of the year. And we had KCB certainly making headlines on Friday's session announcing that it will be dropping uh, the cost of loans, so seeing a cut in its uh, interest rates and that uh, putting some of that uh, interest earning potential under threat moving forward. Well, obviously, the high interest rates, rates are not sustainable. Even if the banks are making money out of them, they are not sustainable. You, you cannot have that rate for long. Uh, I mean, because you, you'll have to ultimately compare what you're offering and what uh, the economy looks like. Uh, but in terms of uh, risks associated with, uh, with this high, high cost lending or increased lending in the market, I would say that the Kenyan banks are generally very conservative. They, they don't just lend to, to anyone. And so um, the, the risks are usually very minimized. Uh, in addition to that, the Central Bank of Kenya, the regulator, ensures that uh, the, the, the banks do not uh, overlend to, to probably low, low, low income earners. And so most of the people that are borrowing actually qualifying for the, for the loans. And so um, the risks are there indeed, as, as, as they are in any other business, but I don't think that they are major enough to, to cause a panic in the, in, in the industry. The we banking know, sector is strong. Uh, William, we know that there's been quite a bit of pressure on the banks at large to lower their interest rates in tandem with uh, the um, Central Bank of Kenya's interest rate uh, cutting uh, you know, that we've seen come to the fore. To what extent do you see this now setting a trend moving forward and that uh, we finally see uh, some movement coming through on that interest rate front from the banking side specifically? Well, obviously, I mean, after KCB has lowered its, 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 uh, its lending rate and, and, and the others, I, I, I look at the others following suit, uh, probably towards the end of this year or at the beginning of the year, uh, you would see that uh, the, 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 real, the real money is usually at the beginning of the year and, and probably they would want to, to lock in as much as they can by lowering their rates. Um, because this, the, the high rates are not sustainable. At, at some point, the, the market that you're targeting with a high rate will be saturated and you will need to expand your horizons in terms of who else yeah. can afford my money. And, and that they are going to do.